Hi, I'm Zeb Bitwellit, 8 bit number me, and I have to make a confession. I'm a huge cyberpunk fan. I love the movies completely. I love the stories, I love the worlds, and all that started actually for me, well, early age, but actually it really kicked off with Shadow One for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. I was completely absorbed in this kind of world, as actually also sparked me to you know, the interest in reading books. I was uh, starting to play role playing games. I'm a storyteller for Shadow One, I don't know, for almost 10 years, I guess. And I also played Cyberpunk, which completely makes sense. And I was waiting then, of course, more than two decades that a decent Cyberpunk game comes out. But the release here was a little bit of. You know, because I have a PlayStation 4 and Cyberpunk has kind of reputation not to work that well in the beginning. But yes, there are plenty of stuff with Cyberpunk and you cannot imagine how excited I was when I heard that the Commodore 64 gets again a new Cyberpunk game. I'm the 8-Bit Relict, 8-Bit is number me, and today we want to play MW Ultra. For the Commodore 64. When I said that I like cyberpunk, then of course I mean the cyberpunk world and the story behind it. So you don't really want a shooting game or something like this. No, you really want to have a story presented to you. And this is actually what happens here. So you slip in the role of Ian. Ian plays the guitar and he wants to take part in a band. This is actually not really excited from that it sounds, but wait for it. Ian has some kind of mystery behind it. And something happens in his past. And he slips always back into the old memory of his and of his imagination. We don't really know. Something terrible seems to happen to him at some point. Some imprisonment some experiments. What happens there? We really want to know. And the further you come in the game, the more and more is revealed about this character and the more and more you actually want to learn about, about this character. This is what keeps people going. I really enjoy this kind of way to get, you know, myself engaged. And this game does a wonderful job with that. MW Ultra Metal Warrior Revamped is a revamp from the first Metal Warrior game, but what makes it so great is that Lasse Ernie, I hope I get the names correct here, um, himself, who created the first four games, is actually doing the revamp. So Maya Coopers works with him together in a company, and Lasse feels somehow motivated to redo again or to restart again this series because Maya used to write fan fiction about the world of Metal Warrior. So this is pretty cool if you have a Commodore 64 games and somebody makes you know fanfic out of it. I really like this particular uh, idea and I'm actually quite happy that Maya did this. Just like the previous game of Lasse, Hessian was a technical marvel, so is also this game. The world is perfectly designed with lots of details. You can interact with different kind of things, pick um, items up, pick the weapons up from enemies you have uh, beaten, and try lots of other things. There's so much to, dis uh, to discover, to explore, and I have yet to find something what I really, really hate about this game, because there is bloody nothing. It's probably one of the best games for the Commodore 64. I am the 8-bit relict, 8-bit is now by me, and today I can highly recommend to you MW Ultra.